Now then, welcome back to Material Energy Cubed with your host, Nemson. Yes, we're back playing this little mod pack, uh, CTM map, HQM challenge map thing. And I think last episode I said I was going into a place of horror, a place of hell. And I made myself some armor, and I got myself a sword, and all that sort of good stuff out of the iron supplies that I'd got so far. And then I saw how many mobs were in there. And I lit it up a bit, and then I came back out, and then I closed it up and sent it back into the spatial storage drive, Biosphere. Biosphere looks pretty hard. Not, not impossible, I don't think it's impossible, but I think I need to do a few more things around the base before I go rushing into that part of the CTM. Uh, there's two other areas for a start. The miners, uh, the inclusion chamber. I haven't fully, fully finished inclusion chamber, and miners delight as well. And then there's biosphere. Now the only reason I did biosphere was to uh, unlock quests and do quests and stuff. Biosphere was the next quest on, and to gather the resources. However, I've also unlocked a few other bits and pieces. There's a uh, victory monument quest thing. Which is a load of blocks and stuff. All the things that I need to put on the Victory Monument. Uh, including all the trophies that I've got so far. Uh, well, at least the ones that I've shown as collected so far. I think I may be missing one or two out of this. I've got those few there. There's a spider trophy. Did I not gain the spider trophy? I think that's a spider trophy, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, there's that. There's... Oil drums of different things I've got to collect. There's all the wools that I've got to collect. There's uh, compression of sandstone, gravel, cobble, and all that sort of stuff I've got to collect and do. All parts of the Victory Monument quest line. We've got side quests. Open up that. And we've got these abstractors from different metallurgy metals all building up across into this one down here. Which I haven't even got any Prometheum to be able to start doing that. And none of the other quests are unlocked yet. Uh, Lost and Found we've already looked at. Pay to win though. We've got pay to win quest load here. And this is unlocked here. A repeatable quest. I put eight coins in and I get a reward bag. And then that will unlock the next quest. Well, that's something I want to test out. Another thing is my energy supplies are really short here. My energy supplies, as you can see, the, the darker blue... Uh, or purple is empty and the bright is full and there's not much energy left in these and this is the only link to work this here I've got all these full ones over here that technically aren't linked up or doing anything as far as I can tell so I thought I'd start off by uh, just ripping all these down getting all these out of the way so that you can see what I'm doing uh, I want to get all these so that I've got them and start charging stuff up. I need to sort power out. Another thing I spotted was other areas on this main part of the map. On the, the main section. We've got other bits that also need ripping out and sorting out. Way do a bit of jumping. Do a little jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Get that. All right. So I've got all those. And now I can connect these up into this uh, set of energy chambers here. Take these off. And put some energy in these places. But I also want to figure out a bit of a, a recharging method. Let's put these around here like this. There we go. So that gives us a full charge on quite a lot of stuff there. That's good. I've got a few more bits to collect from up there. And I collect all these as well. Um, but that's that's all good for now. Let's just go and get something else done. Because that's that's pretty cool. Um, I've got some energy cell 100%. Why is that not stacking? I don't know. And we've got some empty energy cells there as well. This solar generator, right? This solar generator is removed from over here. I removed it. And for some reason, it's still working. I've, I've discovered a glitch. Or at least I had discovered a glitch. It's now night time. And that wiring's gone off. So you take that out. Now, power finished. It's done. Like, since I got to 64, 
thousand, uh, well, sixty-four, uh, like one stack of Certis quartz. It has carried on working ever since. Now it has stopped. But it just carried on taking the energy, taking the power, for no reason whatsoever. Uh, and I couldn't understand it. So those uh, conducts, those um, energy conducts, must have had a ton of energy left in them. Because it's done 18 more processes of 300,000. 18 more processes of 300,000. That's a lot of processes that it's done while not being connected. That's crazy, crazy. Uh, but I wanted to use a solar generator to start filling these things up. Uh, but not right now. I've got some more exciting stuff to show you first. Something else that I spotted. If you have a look at the map, uh, if you look to the right hand side, there's a little green area. A little greenery area. And I was like, what's that? I haven't seen that yet. So I poked a little hole out here to go and have a look. And uh, it's quite a drop, so I'm not going to fall. But look at all this. There's bits of AE stuff, there's some beehives, there's even a dragon egg down there, there's a couple of tree types, there's a few chests and things to get to. I've already had a wander over, which is why you can see those blocks there to have a look around. Uh, but I thought I'd save actually looking at it all properly until I saw you guys. Uh, another thing, also, I had my first melon, so I turned it into three other melon seeds and now I've got uh, 19 melons. So I've got a, a decent supply of food now instead of just using the sucrose. Uh, those melons can actually be made using water. And using water means that I've got potentially an ability to make water and make food from the water there. Uh, I don't know exactly. Right, so on this level, on the level of the Victory Monument itself... We've got this little platform here that comes out. We've got that little area down there. I, I found out, right, through reading all my comments and all that, that uh, there's quite a few hidden things in the map. And from looking at the Victory Monument thing, there's quite a lot of um, hidden things. Like, all the trophies are hidden somewhere with... There's another one. <laughs> Just turn around and look up and there's another one. I hadn't spotted that one, but there's one that we've got to go and get. Um, there's another little area around there, maybe. I've got to, I've got to really explore this place. The, on the, uh, on the dirty, there's a plate whole area down there that hasn't got anything connected to it. I've got another, another something there, maybe another elevator for me to go down one more if I put another elevator block in the middle. Wow! But look at all this under construction. Cool. It's got some blocks and some bits and pieces. We've got a plum wood tree. Do I get any plums from it? Maybe not. I don't know. We've got some golden eggs from open blocks. Uh, they break down into gold. Okay. Well, golden eggs. I'm not sure what they do. I'll have to do a bit of research on that. We've got some old power cable here that I'm just going to uh, grab while I've got a chance. May as well grab it. Uh, we've got some industrial apries from Gendustry. And we've got some upgrades from Gendustry as well. Uh, the Hell Emulation Upgrade, the Jungle Emulation Upgrade, the Light Upgrade, the Dryer and the Cooler. So all things that can go in these apries. I've never used Gendustry. Uh, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing with it. But I've also got all the different types of hives for bees to get me started. The only problem I've got is it's so close to the edge there. I think I want to build out a little bit more before I do anything. I've also got a few grass blocks and stuff as well. A dragon egg, an ender core, and some infused ender obsidian, which I think I can break. Let's check inside them, just because there's bound to be something hidden inside them, isn't there? Uh, nope, nothing. Okay, fine. Maybe this one. I'm going to get it anyway, just because. Uh, pop! No, nothing. It's not It's not anything like something that I should need. Good. Okay. Let's take these as well. The little AE system bits. We can grab all this. I'm just going to uh, collect things that I need. And nothing in the floor around here. Good, good. And this is a willow tree. Which is nice enough to have a willow tree to start off with, isn't it? 
So yeah, we've got quite a bit of stuff hidden away over here that I have no knowledge about up until this very moment. And I don't know if there's anything else hidden around here, but I want to get down there. How am I going to get down there? I guess a water bucket would do it for now. Having a glider from open blocks may be even better. But I've got to do a bit of building, a bit of digging. i got to like break some of these down as well. Look at these. Uh, these blocks are half slabs. Or half blocks, should I say. Half slabs. Like so. There we go. But these can be ground down. Well, like, I say they can be ground down. They can be uh, broken down with the pulverizer. Oh, get another melon. Why not? Thank you very much. Another melon. Um, they can be broken down in a pulverizer once they're made into a full block again. If we look at this, right, nether quartz. If I put one of these quartz slabs in, it does nothing. But if I make these quartz slabs into full chiseled quartz blocks, I can harvest them, pulverize them into nether quartz. So I've got a bit of a nether quartz supply just sort of hanging around down there when I need it. Uh, let's have my apple and some melons. And then we're going to go and get ourselves a water bucket. Let's put these bits and pieces away for now. Because I don't want to use them just yet. Uh, yeah, that can go up there for now. And those can go in there for now. So I want to go and explore. But I'm going to explore the safer stuff. So I'm going to get a couple of stacks of dirt for stacking my way back up again. Um, 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 uh, um, uh, where's, my, where's my iron? I've got no iron in there. No, I've got no iron in there. Okay. Let's pulverize up some iron. Put those uh, raw materials in there. There we go. Pulverize a bit of iron. Just enough to make a bucket, I think. And I need to get rid of this as well. This is this is uh, another little ruse, I think. This water tank here is constantly full. And these fluid pipes can't possibly be taking from this water supply, can they? That's not how fluid ducts work. So all of this could technically get ripped down at some point and make an infinite water source somewhere around here. I've got to rip through all this and get a little power supply going. I want to get the solar generator to be generating power to put into these so that I've always got that available to me. Uh, yep, I've got lots of things to do and I'm not sure where I want to start or where you guys would like me to start. So I'm going to start where I think the best place is. And that's going to be uh, getting a little bit of an explore on. Uh, what did I need? I needed a axe. And I also needed another pick. Scared another pick. Because I don't want to be using my best pick on everything. There we go. Alright, get the uh, a water bucket on the go. And grab a bucket of water. That's good. I've got that. And also, I think I had a chest around here somewhere that I could pick up things from. In fact, there it is. A strong box. This strong box I've had for a while. It's got all of the factory blocks and stuff in it. And coal. Coal factory fluid things. Okay, so we'll put them in there out the way. Don't want to use them anytime soon so we get them away seven liquefied coal yeah. pop the blocks away because i don't need those right now uh put that in there as well and that can go away as well all right so let's go back down uh, i might make another elevator in a bit if i've got everything i need for it uh, but i really 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 want to get myself down there so if I pop a little bit of water and then take it back and get over to here and make a little step ladder up to there. Yep, just to there like that so I can get up and down from here easily enough. That's better. Okay. Oh, 
it looks like there's also a safe down there. Let's get another. Let's get another little safe up here as well. Uh, where was it? Out this way. Uh, a bit further out. I don't really like walking when there's no decent space to walk. It's a broken down, run down bit, and I use speed as well, so I don't want to use that either. So let's just make an easier walkway so I don't fall off accidentally and lose one of my few lives that I have. There we go. Uh, yeah. Being very safe, being very careful not to lose my lives. Um, I believe that mob spawning is turned off in these areas as well. We'll check that again in a minute as well. Let's get more, more blocks. I mean, I might tidy all this up. It depends. Because bees, they're going to be pretty cool to have bees. Having um, a little bee facility going on. Maybe automate it with a bit of applied energy sticks. Get a few resources they want out of the bees. That's that's a good thing. I like the idea of that. Um, can I get right up there? Yes, I can. Let's just check out F7. See if there's any spawning grounds here. I don't think there will be a spawning ground because this is all set to planes. Uh, what happened there? The willows started falling apart. That's not my fault. I didn't do it. Let's just fill that bit in as well. Just so I feel even safer when walking around. Especially in the dark. Okay. Put a couple of torches down so you guys can see where I'm going as well. Alright, I've been dying to do this. I've been dying to get over here and do this bit. But I thought I'd wait until I was recording. Uh, rather than just me standing around waiting for crops to grow. I was waiting for sugarcane to grow. Waiting for my melons to grow. Uh, letting the uh, quartz just process and things like that. Thinking, I'll oh, just AFK, let the quartz process. And then come back to you, be able to complete that quest and move on from there. Uh, yeah, I don't want to use all the dirt up. I've got another stack, it's okay. All right, let's go and see what this is up here then, shall we? Let's go carefully up here. All the way up. And pop. The carpenter safe with nothing in it. Great, that was worth the trek. Is that an area up there that I haven't been in yet? What's in there? Okay. So that just leads me to this floor. But had I already checked that? Oh, that was when I was up there. I came down and must have checked that one. Okay, so I found it hidden that way. That's cool. That's fine. I don't mind that. Uh, so... Pop that. Let's go back down carefully. Okay. And next, we're going down these stairs here. And we're going to put a water bucket off the side here so that I can get up and down from here. Let's just go from here, shall we? Yep. Alright. So that's going to get me down. And I should be able to get back up again. Hit the ground. Hit the ground. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we get to see what's in this place as well. And maybe that one over there as well while we're at it. See what we got. See what we're at. Find all the hidden things. Let's get a couple of lighting on the go so I can see where I am. And you can see what I'm up to. Let's go. Right. What are we going here? A skeleton trophy. Awesome. So that, in theory, should have lit up the victory monument of a skeleton trophy. Manual detect. There it is. Okay. That's cool. Okay, so we've done that one. Right. And what we got over here, then? We've got a single marble block sitting slightly out of place. I don't know why, but it is. Anything hidden in those? Nope this room then what have we got in here I'll be careful not to fall through the floor or something daft don't I there's a crafting table there's a little water feature supply thing with a couple of flowers 
there's some dies anyway. That's a good thing. And a chest over here. With an adamantian sword. Oh yeah. Tell me about it. Fire resistance 1, fire aspect 2, and breaking 1. Fire aspect 1. It's got fire aspect 3 times on it. And plus 8 attack damage. An ender core. A stack of coins. Some quicksilver dust and some clockwork engines. Nice. And, uh, well, that to boot. What else we got in here, then? Anything? What's this over here? Uh, it's just some red wool, apparently. What's the deal with that, then? Just some red wool. Anything hidden underneath it? Doesn't appear to be... Nope. Doesn't appear to have anything hidden underneath it, but I got a bit of red wool now. It's fine. It's not the victory monument wool, though. I can't use it as a victory monument wool because that would be cheating. Uh, and it doesn't say VM wool on it, so it's not the victory monument wool that I can use like so. Uh, there's another safe over here, though. What's we got in here? A cat entity. Awesome. So I should... Highlight that as well. Manual detect. There we go. We've got the cat. Cool. Already running out of space. But let's go over here and see what this one is. Looks pretty cool from down here, doesn't it? Looks pretty awesome. Uh, what's that? There's a little bit of a glowy thing there that I don't know what that is. So many things to find. This looks like a big flat world, though. A big flat, flat, flat world. I'm on level 2, which means that I am at bedrock level, literally. Oh, man, it's dark in there, isn't it? What's these fantasy blocks? And a uh, carpenter's door. Cool. I apologise if it's a bit dark. I currently don't have anything to light my way. Uh... Uh? This is the base of... Uh, a second, a second chamber, a second chamber for anything by the looks of it. It's pretty dark though. What have we got in here? More energy cells. Nice. A big button. A spatial port. Ah, wait a minute. And a controller. Let's just uh, chill out with those. So that's all for setting up uh, an AE port over here somewhere. A spatial port. Ah, there we go. Look, you can't see it though. It's all dark. Uh, right, so that's for setting up a second place, a second chamber by the looks of it. But being able to go in it from the bottom. Oh, okay. That's cool. All right. Uh, anything else while I'm down here? It's pretty dark though, isn't it? It's pretty dark. I'm aware how dark it is for you guys. Just want to have a, a look around though, see if there's anything. Because nothing should be spawning around here. I've got clouds. They're just normal Minecraft clouds, though. Doesn't seem like there's much going on. But you never know. You never know with hidden stuff around this map. So let's have a quick look around this side. Now I've got some speed boost as well. Let's have a quick run round. So that's a full sight there. Let's have a full run round it. Check the horizon. Make sure there's nothing around. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I like finding new stuff, but I don't really like not finding anything at all while I'm doing this. If you see what I mean? I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind finding the new cool stuff to show you, uh, but I don't really want to just be uh, walking around on bedrock finding nothing. This is like, okay, this space station has nothing around it other than those few things that I've already found, and daylight comes. Awesome. Yeah, perfect timing. Uh, there could be hidden hidden things inside the bedrock as well, those carpenter's chests. I guess if I get stuck, if I get short, caught short and I don't have the things that I need, then maybe I'll do something different. Okay, daylight approaches. Shall I show you in there again? Maybe. Let's leave it for now. Let's leave it for another day. Have another look around here. So we've got our forestry area there. I might actually bring it down to down here somewhere. What's that? Yes, we have got an elevator. 
but it doesn't go up anywhere and it's not likely to go down anywhere because I'm at bedrock. So I need to put another elevator somewhere. I think it's within 8 to 16 blocks, something like that. I need to put another elevator in beyond that. And it doesn't look like there's anything else around. So it looks like I've got pretty much everything I need. So I know there's a second place now. And uh, yeah, pretty much cleared that out apart from apart from taking the flowers. But now I know where the ah, actually now I know where the flowers are. The bees will probably need flowers, won't they? I've got bone meal, but let's let's take the flowers. There we go. And uh, anything hidden in the water source, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'll come back down here for some other time. Let's get back up the top. Let's get back up there. All right, I'm going to do a quick cut. Get back up there. And see you in a moment. Alrighty, so now I know what's below this section here that I was looking at. That's that light source that I saw from down there. Still don't know what that is up there though. Let's uh, have a, another quick check. See if there's another stun thing we can get. Yep, yeah, carpenter safe with a sheep trophy. Oh yes. Three trophies this episode. That's not too bad for a quick wander about, is it? Yep, that's good. I like that. Uh, nothing else there that I want, though. This place is proving quite quite lucrative today. I'm finding lots of trophies today. This is trophy day. So let's check these that we've got. We've got the villager. We've got the zombie pig man. That looks like that one. And the spider one we didn't have, did we? Let's, let's get the spider bit one again. Manual detect. Uh, okay. Oh, I've already got the spider one there. Okay. So we've put... We've got all of these trophies. Let's put these onto the rack. Uh, we've got a skeleton. A skeleton. Da, 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 da. Where's the skeleton then? Uh, 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 mm, chicken creeper. Skeleton. There we go. We've got the cat. Or the ocelot. What's it down as? Cat or ocelot? What do you reckon? Cat or ocelot? Cat. There we go. We've got the cat. We've got the sheep. And we've got the spider again. And also, upstairs, I had one more in a chest to add into the monument now. Uh, and I want to tell you what I'm going to be up to before the next instalment, the next episode. Uh, I want to clear out the area a little bit and do a bit of base building. Now, I wouldn't necessarily want to cut away, but I've got a lot of blocks that I want to use. I've got plenty of things to use, uh, and I've got to build an area out to the safe place over there. So that's one thing I want to do. I also want to rip this out and get my power supply all sorted. But next episode will be everything, everything that is technical and building stuff will be done off camera. There we go. Got a gas trophy. Let's go and place this to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying this CTM map. This episode we found a load of new trophies, which is pretty cool. Uh, explored the area a little bit. Found a few more hidden surprises. Will that fireball me? Nope, just makes a noise. That's okay. And will the pigman give me a gold nugget? Yes, he will. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for watching another episode of Material Energy Cubed. I will see you next episode. I'm going to uh, make this into a thing from here out there. And box it all in so that I can work it. Work them bees, baby. Work them bees. Alright, I'll see you again soon. Bye, guys.